Hey, I'm in front of a small tree here, Cornus moss, the Cornelian cherry, dogwood. Uh, and you can see why it's called Cornelian cherry, and I'll show you some red ones here, but uh, putting the fruit on right now, uh, oppositely arranged on the stem, very typical dogwood foliage. This is a small tree with beautiful exfoliating bark. Uh, great for the home landscape. Uh, is one of the earlier blooming cornus species. Uh, blooms right after, typically officinalis. Typically we see cornus officinalis bloom followed by cornus moss. And in fact, the blooms between cornus moss and cornus officinalis are quite similar and I would say almost very hard to distinguish from each other. Uh, so you might want to mix those species in the landscape uh, in order to get even a longer bloom. Blooms small, yellow, quite beautiful in the early, early spring landscape. Again, cornice moss, the cornelian cherry dogwood. This is classified as a tree, but it's a little bit small, 15 to 25 foot high, spreading out 15 to 20 foot wide. It can be multi-stemmed or pruned up as a single stem specimen. Again, hardy from zones four through eight. Very low maintenance, uh, showy, attracts birds, has beautiful fruit uh, in uh, the early fall, August, uh, would be a good time to see the fruit on it. Really easily grown in average medium well-drained soil, full sun, part shade. You could use it as an understory tree as well. A uh, beautiful plant uh, should be used in the succession with other dogwoods. So again, uh, ID characteristics, uh, arced venation in the leaves, all, uh, oppositely arranged on the stem. Uh, you also want to look at the bark as this plant matures. You're going to see beautiful exfoliating bark on this tree. Here's a landscape tip. May be naturalized in woodlands or other natural areas. Can be trained as a small tree.